Hi, how are you today? And I want to look at something which is really important. It's called the inspector. The inspector is a terrific approach that Apple has in so many of its programs. And I really think it's essential that you appreciate early on just how important the inspector is. Let's look at the inspector in Keynote first of all. And in Keynote, frequently we'll want to add some text or some shapes or a table or some charts. And once you've done that, you will probably want to amend them. And the amendment comes from using this button here, the inspector, which I'll click now. Here's the inspector. I'll move it off to this side just to make it a little clearer. It floats around anywhere. And all these inspectors have a similar sort of shape or look to them. If we look here, this is about the document. Or it could be about audio. Getting it from the iTunes library. Or from GarageBand. Or it could be spotlight information, so that if you're searching for something, you can get it. And that's the first part of the inspector. The second one is really about transitions. What sort of transition do you want to have from one screen to the next? And we can get so many of them here. I tend to concentrate on the twist or more frequently, page flip. This is about the appearance of each slide. So next to that, we have a movement within the slide, the build inspectors, where if we take this, how do we want it to build in? Do you want it to be appear, comet, cube, dissolve, etc. Quite often you want something to build out. How do you want it to build out? Cube? Whatever. And finally, you may wish to make an action available. And in terms of the action, sorry, let me go back there. In terms of the action, do you want to move it? Do you want to change the opacity? Do you want to rotate it? Do you want to make it bigger? Or smaller. Let's go to the next one. The text. Here we have uh, the spacing, the character, etc. The color, the alignment. What way do you want the columns? What sort of bullets do you want? Do you want colored bullets? Do you want numbering? What do you want? This is really the graphic inspector and it asks what way do you want it done? Do you want it filled? Do you want a gradient? Do you want a solid colour? Do you want a line around it? Do you want a stroke around it? Do you want a shadow? Do you want reflection? What do you want the opacity to be? This is uh, information about the file, the rulers and so on. This is about the tables. So if you decide to put a table in, what way do you want that table to look? In terms of its rows, its columns, editing them, the cell background, the cell borders. What sort of format do you want for the cells? It could be numbers, it could be currency. And then we have the chart inspector. What sort of chart do you want to add? What are the axes to be? What are you going to call the series? This is about building flexibility into the charts that you add. You might want to put in a hyperlink to link it to something on the web. Here's where you put it in, and then it gives you options about it. And finally, you may have a movie in your presentation. When do you want it to start? When do you want it to stop? Do you want it to repeat? What do you want the volume to be? The inspector.
So here we go again. The document inspector, the slide inspector, the build inspector, the text inspector, the graphic inspector, the metrics inspector, the table inspector, charts inspector, the hyperlink inspector, and the QuickTime inspector. All of huge importance in developing fantastic presentations and slides.